And if you've ever sold a house, you'd know it's pretty stressful. Just imagine if your neighbour started cranking up the music and scaring off the buyers. It's a nasty and very loud local dispute, so we took a megaphone and went to see if we could help. Who wouldn't want to snap up a beautiful family home like this one? Certainly the open for inspections have been popular, but then prospective buyers hear this coming from next door. I'm playing more music happening. because I'm in oh, my you, shed. You're Mind your own business. Stop sabotaging our auction. Behave like an adult. Are we not allowed to live our life because you're selling your house? No, you're absolutely out to live. Then you. Why, why are you doing it? This real estate rumble has power. Oh, thank you. Oh. And plenty of passion. He is acting like a bully, definitely. You might think you've seen auction drama on reality TV. But this is the block on steroids. He's behaving as, uh, as if he's entitled and he's behaving in a very narcissistic manner. And this young family is growing increasingly desperate as the day their home goes under the hammer inches closer. You did good luck on Saturday, yeah? Moment of truth. Your chance to buy. We're here to sell. What do you say? At very specific times in this street, this family's neighbour starts blaring his music. It is deafening. We want to know why he's doing it and ask him, on behalf of the poor family selling this home, if he can please turn the music down. down. They just want some peace and quiet, mate. You've got to feel sorry for these real estate agents. They probably thought they'd have no problem selling this beautiful property in Melbourne's Newport. Instead, at every single open for inspection right on cue at midday, neighbour Khaled El Huli starts blasting rock music. ACA was there. We heard it for ourselves. There is no noise coming out from their house um, at other times, but only during the inspection times. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, is every other day of the week and every other moment of the day, it's actually very quiet. They've actually been, believe it or not, good neighbours, yeah. insofar as we never hear them. Indri and her husband, Craig, fear the racket is scaring away buyers, even potentially wiping thousands off the sale price. They haven't had one offer or even any registered buyers, even though the property has been advertised for six weeks. It will affect our ability to sell. It's a beautiful home. You know, you'd love to be marketing the property. It's got a stunning north-facing deck, massive, beautiful family home. It's been fully renovated. It should be flying out the door. Real estate agent Jesse Rayburn from The Block knows property like the back of his hand and also knows a thing or two about rivalries with neighbours. Blasting the music every open for inspection, how does that affect something like an open for inspection and an auction? Yeah, well, it's not great, obviously. We like to have a little bit of background music <laughs> as you show the home, but you certainly don't want heavy metal blasting throughout the inspection. Indri and Craig have demanded the music stop. They've gone to the police. They've done a letter drop. And they've even hung this handmade sign over their for sale board. The music may affect our sale and it may affect yours, it reads. Say no to bullying. P.S. Our house is awesome. We should take a stand saying that, no, enough is enough. The family believe Khaled El Huli may be motivated by either greed or revenge. To understand why, you need to know a bit more about the history of the once sleepy Chalice Street. 
The El Huli family moved in around two years ago. Shortly after that, Colette El Huli submitted a development application to council to build three unit townhouses on his property. This was knocked back because of community opposition. Colette appealed this decision at the state tribunal and was successful, giving him the go ahead to build. Let's go guys. Craig and Indri were among those who objected to the development, but have since accepted the fact that townhouses will be built by Coled. Literally the whole side of our house, the boundary line, improved substantially as a result of the development, if you like. So um, from that regard, we've got no issues. Celebrate your win, put the townhouses in and move on rather than creating conflict. It does, does seem a little uh, unusual. Real estate expert and host of the Property Couch podcast, Bryce Holdaway. Yeah, there's probably two motivations really, isn't there? One, um, you could be thinking that they might want to sort of drop the price so that they can pick it up themselves um, at a lower level. But I think um, it, sounds, it sounds like, you know, they went through a bit of hardship to get uh, the development application approved for their property. And I think uh, maybe a little bit of that pain is lingering and they really want to pass a bit of that on to the neighbour, which is just incredibly unfortunate, isn't it? That was two and a half years ago and everyone have moved on from it. Good morning, mate. How are you going? Why, why are you doing it? What's your plan, mate? What's your deal? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Do you want to build on the house next door? Do you want to build on the land? Are you trying to buy the home yourself, sir? Coled may have kept quiet for us, but just after we left, he confronted his neighbour Craig and, as you can hear, this time, the volume is well and truly up. Aren't I allowed to have the radio on the garage? Is You're that, that arrogant, you moron. Really? Is it a crime to live in my property? Aren't we, are we not allowed to live our life because you're selling your house? You Good luck on Saturday, yeah? yeah? Mind your own business. Yeah, I, I really feel for the owners of this property. So hopefully come the weekend, the buyers do turn up and I heard they play the music for half an hour, so hopefully they'll stop when the auction starts. I'd like to welcome all of you, each and every one of you here today to what I'm sure will be a very special Compton Green auction here this afternoon at number nine. But it's not just prospective buyers at the auction. Instead of music, this time Khaled is working on his vintage cars using a loud compressor. But the show must go on and the auctioneer does his best to battle through. Over to you if I can. 348 square metres of land, all the hard work done. Beautifully appointed kitchen, stone bench stops, you've seen it. We're here to sell it, who wants to buy? But despite a booming well, Melbourne right, property market, there no isn't a single bid. Ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude today's auction. Thank you, enjoy the weather. Do you think this man affected today's result? Undoubtedly, yeah. Um, I've got no doubt that people over the course of the, the inspection process took note of what was going on beside us. No, no he didn't. Oh, that's bad. That's too bad. Do you think you're partly responsible for that? Oh, absolutely nothing to do with it. What about the fact that you were blasting your music constantly at every open for inspection? Never did. Then sell your house and move on what they're doing. They're trying to sell their house and well, they can't. What do you want me to do? Stop living? Do you want me to move to Africa for a week and come back? What, what do you does... want? I'm a human being too, right? Is it because the colour of my skin? Is it because I've got Arab background? Is this a racist thing? That's what you need to look at. Not my music. My wife's Indonesian, so um, to call me racist is just ridiculous. The guy's a moron. He's just a moron. I would argue you were bullying them, though. I was bullying him. Yeah. How? I saw the language you used in that oh, video. Of course, I lost my f Wouldn't you? The good news is, when someone does buy this property, Khaled will likely not be their neighbour for too long. He's expected to move out in the coming months as he develops his lot. I bet you just can't wait for him to get out of here. The sooner the better. The sooner the better.